plans for the layout of temporary construction buildings, facilities, fencing, access routes, and anchoring systems for temporary structures shall be submitted to and approved by the government designated authority. The design and construction of temporary structures shall consider the following loadings. C. American Society of Civil Engineers, 7-10, minimum design loads for buildings and other structures. Dead and live loads, soil and hydrostatic pressures, wind loads, rain and snow loads, flood and ice loads, and seismic forces. Trailers and other temporary structures used as field offices, as personnel housing, or for storage shall be anchored with rods and cables or by steel straps to ground anchors. The anchor system shall be designed to withstand winds and must meet applicable state or local standards for anchoring mobile trailer homes. Temporary project fencing or a substitute acceptable to the GDA and delineated in the accident prevention plan shall be provided on all projects located in areas of active use by members of the public including those areas in close proximity to family housing areas and or school facilities. Fencing shall extend from grade to a minimum of four feet above grade and shall have a maximum mesh size of two inches. Fencing shall remain rigid and taut with a minimum of 200 pounds of force exerted on it from any direction with less than four inches of deflection. Signs warning of the presence of construction hazards and requiring unauthorized persons to keep out of the construction area shall be posted on the fencing. At minimum, signs shall be posted every 150 feet. Fenced sides of projects that are less than 150 feet shall, at minimum, have at least one warning sign. The design and construction of temporary work or labor camps floating plants excluded, shall be in accordance with 29 CFR 1910.142. New in the 2014 edition, temporary explosive storage areas shall be in accordance with EM 385-1-97, Explosive Safety and Health Requirements, Chapter 1, Section 2, Subpart 1.2.N. Prior to construction, the contractor shall provide the GDA with a copy of an access or haul road plan for review and acceptance. Access and haul roads shall be designed in accordance with current engineering criteria. Please note, in this edition, the word truck haul road was changed to access haul road to address that roads are not limited to strictly trucks. Work on the haul road shall not commence until the GDA has accepted the plan. Access and haul roads should be kept to less than 10% grade. There should be no more than 400 feet of grade exceeding 10%. Traffic control lights, barricades, road markings, signs, and signal persons for the safe movement of traffic shall be provided in accordance with Department of Transportation, Federal Highway Administration's Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices and this section. All roads shall be maintained in a safe condition and eliminate or control dust, ice, and similar hazards. 